Well, on the subject of things not doing well in the ratings, we got the AEW Rampage and the SmackDown ratings, and obviously SmackDown was moved to FS1, so it did poorly by Fox standards, but actually good by FS1 standards. Mm, no point two five is. Well, I mean, I mean, I I guess for compared a, for to a, recent uh, appearances on FS1, I mean, well, it's the second lowest they've done. The lowest was the zero point two three that they did. Uh, Against the World Series, just did an 0.25, not against the World Series. I don't consider this any better at all. Actually, in some ways, I would consider it worse, doing um, you know a slightly better number, but against much easier competition. Um, so yeah, I don't you know, but um, yeah, nothing. I mean, you know, it did fantastic compared to um, what Rampage did. Uh, Rampage was the lowest in its history. 0.08. 0.08. Yeah, like 101,000 viewers in 18 to 49, which is a terribly low number. I think and the all-time low for NXT was like 0.08. They might have done an no, 0.07. No, no, I think, I, I, think I, I, don't, I, I don't think that they ever hit 0.08. I think that really, I feel like I, they might have once because I remember there was like an impossibly no, no, there, there low. might have, there might have been there, there were there were 0.08s and well lower than 0.08s in, in 1834, but. Um, I don't think they've ever gone below 0.10, except for maybe, you know, one of those shows that was, um, you know, like when they did like a, you know, a recap show rather than like a live show. You know, I think that they may have done, you know, on some of those, but um, I don't recall, you know, 0.10 is about as low as I think that they've gotten. But uh, Rampage had never gotten below 0.10. Um, and uh, this was... This number is so low, it boggled, you know, it was it was scary low, even though, I mean, when you look at that lineup with Darby Allen and Cole Carter opening and QT and, you know, um, QT and Orange Cassidy in the main event, I mean, I knew it was not going to do a good number. Did you, uh, did you see the quarters? Yes, I did see the quarters. Yeah, there was like... Uh... There was no the were third like a, quarter. Were like a, the third quarter did terrible. It did it did terrible, but in general, it was it was pretty flat, which tells me the only people that tuned in were the hardcores. Like oh. you you didn't even have a drop from the first quarter to the second, where like people tuned in and saw the thing and were like, ah, eh, not for me. Well, it's you like know, the, nobody tuned in except the hardcores. You know, the, the the fourth quarter um, grew a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For the lumberjack match. No, the third quarter, which was the, um, was that the women's match? Um, what did they put in the third quarter? Well, they had Athena and Danny Moe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that one did. They, I think they were down like in the 80s in 18 to 34, which would be, um, God, like 0.07, you know, something like that. 0.06, probably 0.07. But yeah, just... I mean, the number. Yeah, they had uh, the eighteen to forty nine, uh, eighty eight thousand in yeah. that third quarter. Because that'd be zero point zero seven. And, yeah, everything else was uh, one hundred twelve, one hundred, and one hundred two. So, still, still, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, like let's, look, the viewers, the, the numbers are sending them a message. I mean, and the message is loud and clear that uh, you know you want to, you know. I mean, it was actually, you know, what's funny is is that it was actually fifth in the time slot, you know, which is not any, I mean, so that tells you a lot about, like, the fact that less people were watching TV because there's, there are weeks that they are fifth in the time slot. Sometimes they're third or fourth. Um, sometimes they're even second. I mean, they, I don't think they've, they've won the time slot in a long, long time. When they first started, they won the time slot often. Um, you know, they're not, you know, like, uh, they lost to the NBA and they lost to, you know, the, the, um, on Patrol Live on Reels, which is which is kind of a sort of big hit on on uh, Friday nights, you know, by cable standards. Um, and there were a couple of other shows, you know, home, you know, stuff that they usually beat that that they were behind. But they beat uh, CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News, you know, which is like so it's like um, you know whatever. I mean, I'm it's I'm not trying to say they did good. I'm just saying they, that they they beat they beat established networks that people really watch. Um, which tells you something. So some of it was the fact that, uh, you know, Friday night, um, I don't think a lot of people were, I think, you know, it was a, a, a Friday that a lot of people were not watching cable television as compared to others. Although On Patrol Live wasn't much down from usual or anything like that. And, you know, you know whatever. They need to, you know, they need to uh, put bigger, bigger stars on the show, more, more, more happenings on the show. Um, they are just, because if not, I mean, the show is just uh, the, 
these numbers it's like it's like a lot of times people will will panic will will look at numbers you know like say that the um the friday smackdown number you know which is still you know great for the station it's just you know whatever and the wednesday dynamite number is still really good for the station it's you know it's bigger than um, big bang theory does you know so it's good it's not as good as it has been um but it's not like these numbers are going to get you canceled they're not at all now these the rampage number i don't know i'm talking about cancellation but that number is not you know for first run program and everything like that on on that station um on friday it's not a good number i mean usually what they've done done um, in the last couple of months, even though the numbers are not big, they are acceptable in that time slot and bigger than that time slot was doing, you know, before. Um, so, uh, but now we're, we're not in that, in that situation at all. So they, you know, Tony has got to spruce up that show. That's all there is to it. And man, I mean, they got, I mean, look, we know there's, there, there's the problems of too many championships and a lot of people. You know, they, they have a, a, a thing where there's really, um, they got to get some young guys, you know, up and going. Um, I mean, they're trying, obviously, but, uh, man, um, you know, they they need to get, I mean, even if they're not going to wrestle on the show, they need to have MJF on that show. They need to have Moxley on that show. They need to shoot big angles on that show. Um, you know, one of the big things was with that the trios match, the trios, the seven best of seven trios is all seven were on dynamite. And I mean, if that's not telling you that Rampage is a throwaway, I don't know what is. I mean, they really should have put one or two of them on Rampage, even though, yes, the rating would be far lower. But middle matches, I mean, it's still something, you know, I mean, still, you know, more appealing than Orange Cassidy and QT, you know, as a main event. I mean, Orange Cassidy and QT on the show is whatever. But as a main event, when you hear that's the main event, man, that's uh, QT's not a main eventer. I mean, that's the reality to the whole thing. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle uh, load? <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Hawks. <laughs> I, I don't. That's what Vinny got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's wrestle Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh! I have right. never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.